Lesson 12.1a, Finding the Likelihood of an Event. Each time we roll a number cube, a number from 1 to 6 lands face up. This is called an event. An event is an outcome, a result, or set of outcomes, of an experiment or situation. We roll and get 4. There are 6 possible outcomes. We can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. We had a 1 out of 6 chance of rolling a 4. So I don't know if you remember that an unfolded 3D shape is called a net. We could cut this out and fold it and make a cube out of this. We can make a number cube. And there's only one 4 on the number cube. And there are 6 numbers. We have a 1 out of 6 chance of rolling that 4. The more ways the event can happen, the more likely it will happen. What if we had a number cube that had 1, 2, 3, and 4, 4, 4? It had these numbers. Well, there's six possible outcomes with three of those outcomes being 4. Three of six likelihood of 4 as the outcome. Or we have a 3, 6 chance of rolling a 4 or 1 half, that's what 3, 6 is simplified to, we'd have a 1 half chance of rolling a 4. Here we have four playing cards, an ace of hearts, an ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, and an ace of spades. If we turn them face down and mix their order, we have a 1 in 4 chance of picking either card. We have a one-fourth chance of picking the Ace of Hearts. We have a two out of four chance, or one-half chance, of picking red or of picking black. And we have a three out of four chance, a three-fourths chance, of not picking the heart because three out of the four are not heart. We have a zero out of four chance of picking a king because there are no kings there would be a zero chance. Take a look at this bag I drew. And this bag contains 10 beads. How many of the 10 possible results match the described event? So picking a striped bead, how many possible chances would I have of picking a striped bead if I stuck my hand in this bag and picked a bead? Well, there are no striped beads, so the chance of picking a striped bead would be 0 in 10. What about picking an orange bead? Well, I see 1, 2, 3 orange. That means we would have a 3 in 10, because there's 10 beads, of picking orange. What about picking blue? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. That means we would have 4 in 10 for the possible results of picking blue. What about picking purple? There's one, two, purple. That means we have a two in 10 chance of picking purple. And green? Well, there's only one green. That means we have a one in 10 chance of picking green. Now, in the box, we need to order the events from least likely, which is one, to most likely, which is five. So which color would we be least likely to pick if we stuck our hand in the bag and picked a color? Well, the least likely would be the striped one because there aren't any striped ones. So the least likely is a one, that would be one. What would be the next likely? If you said green, you're right, because there's only one green. That would be number two. What would be number three? Well, there's zero striped ones, there's one green one, there's two purple ones. So that would be the next likely. So that would be number three. And there are three orange beads that would be number four. That would be the next likely. And then the most likely, the, the four blue ones, that would be five for the most likely. So we ordered them from 
one to five, with one being the least likely and five being the most likely. So the possible result of picking an orange bead is three in 10, or three tenths, which would also be 30%. A blue bead, well, there's four of them, so that would be four in 10, or four tenths, which can be simplified to two fifths, but four tenths is also 40%. And a purple bead, there's two of them, so that would be two in 10, or two tenths, which can be simplified to one fifth, and two tenths is 20%. There's only one green bead, so that would be a one in 10 possible result, or one tenth, or 10%. So which event is most likely? Which color are we most likely to pick? Well, if you said blue, you're right, because there's four of them. That's the most. So it would be picking blue. And which event is least likely? of these choices? Well, there's only one green, so if you said picking green is the least likely, you're correct. The more ways the event can happen, the more likely it will happen. There are 52 cards in a deck of playing cards. There's 13 diamonds, 13 clubs, 13 hearts, and 13 spades. There is a 13 in 52 chance of picking a heart. It's because there's 13 of them. That would be one fourth or a 25% chance of picking a heart. There is a 26 in 52 chance of picking red because the diamonds and the hearts are red and that would be 26 cards out of the 52. That means we would have a one of two chance of picking red or half, or we could say 50%. There's a one in two chance of getting heads if we flip a coin. This does not mean we'll flip the coin to get heads, then flip it again to get tails. That's not what this is saying. It means we have one of two possibilities, heads or tails. We have one of two outcomes. We might flip the coin 10 times and get heads every time. And the chances of that happening are slim, but it could happen. We finished the first part of 12.1. We're going to move on to the second part, describing events. You could get a number cube or number cubes or a deck of playing cards, and you could find the results of some events on your own. And if you don't have those things, you can make your own number cards with pieces of paper and write numbers on them. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.